Today I'm back with more things you shouldn't buy. And if you missed my last one, I will link it right up here. It was more beauty product focused with controversial ingredients. And let me just tell you, that video was controversial. The comments were spicy. But today I'm back with more things you should just save your money on. Just stay away. Number one, cookbooks. Now, I do have a caveat with this one. If you already use cookbooks on a very regular basis, then you have, you have established yourself. Proceed, buy all the cookbooks you want because you're actually gonna put them to use. Now, for the majority of you that, you know, you, you walk into Target and you're like, wow, this is pretty. I could totally do this. Stop, put it back. You're gonna buy it. You're gonna waste your money. You're never going to open it up. You're just not. In fact, what you're going to do is Google whatever recipe you want. You're gonna look at it on a tablet or a phone, or you're just going to not even really look at a recipe at all. And, and that's, that's what you're gonna do. These are just a waste of money most of the time. Number two might be kind of crazy coming from me and kind of unexpected, but it's super fancy clothes. I think you should stop buying them. I know there's something to be said for very expensive clothes or going to, stand the test of time, it's cost per wear and like all of the things. It's just, at least for me, when it comes to clothing, if it's so fancy and or just so expensive, I see it in my closet and then I put it back because it's like, I don't wanna ruin it, I don't wanna get a stain on it, I don't wanna accidentally snag it and I just find that it ends up being a complete waste of money. Bring me the Amazon clothes, bring me the Walmart clothes, I can do the high-low thing and, and, and make it work much better. I feel like a few of these people are gonna get mad at me, like this next one, it's expensive home exercise equipment. Just stop it and hear me out on this. I'm not saying you shouldn't exercise. You should, you should, I should. But everyone's just jumping on these Peloton bikes and the treadmills and just like all of this big exercise equipment. And so it just takes up a lot of space, but that's not even my point. My point is you just don't actually use it. You, you get it and you use it for maybe two weeks and then it just starts to sit there. So what I think people should do instead is maybe buy a used version that's gonna be way less expensive and then see if you actually stick to it. And if you do, just sell it on Facebook marketplace, whatever, and then reward yourself with the real nice expensive version. Now I know I keep talking about, you know, not buying the expensive things, but I'm about to contradict myself. Stop buying the cheap sheets. The cheap sheets, you live in, in bed, half, the, half your life in bed, you're sleeping in bed. And so I think you should have luxurious sheets. You should surround yourself with softness and just greatness. And I found these bamboo sheets, I've talked about them before, and I am especially bringing them up right now because they're like 50% off. This is not sponsored, this whole video is not sponsored. But these sheets are freaking amazing and they just throw, uh, they just they just put all of the other sheets out of, out of the water. I didn't say that right, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I will link them below. I'm pretty sure they're like mega on sale. So you can get them in a lot of colors and whatnot. And to me, bamboo sheets are like next level. You will thank yourself. We're still on sheets but different sheets, dryer sheets. You should stop buying dryer sheets. And I don't even know what I'm supposed to say here because ah, I think they're bad. I think they're really bad. I do not think you should be putting them in the dryer and then all of the, 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 the toxic chemicals. I realize there are some things that are good for you that are in fact chemicals, but the things on the dryer sheets, those are bad chemicals. And then you're putting it on your skin because you're wearing the clothes every day. And I just think that more and more and more and more, even, even the brands themselves are realizing it. This Oops, we messed up, this is not good. There's other things you can do. Um, I just skip it all, all, to, all together. Uh, but there for a while I was putting essential oils on like the wool balls and I was throwing them in and I just gave up that and I just don't do anything now. Man, my transitions are just great. Now we go from dryer sheets now to makeup wipes. Very similar a look, completely different product. I think you should stop buying them. Therefore, while I was all about the makeup wipes, I think they're convenient for travel. Occasionally, I'll throw them in like a travel toiletry bag and they come in handy. But then I always find that I am just like, I wash my face afterwards anyway, because they just don't remove even close to the amount of makeup on your face. So I would say, I've said this a thousand times, the makeup eraser, makeup, things, um, you can like wash them and reuse them over and over again, but they truly get off all of your makeup with only water. It's honestly magic voodoo, I don't know. Um, or just use the good old, you know, soap and water and, and your hands. Now, if you're enjoying this video in the least bit, I would love for you to take two seconds and hit the subscribe button down below. It's really quick, painless, and totally free. Uh-oh, I'm about to do it again. I'm about to make you mad. Um, scented candles. I think you should just not buy them, but that's just me. Do it if you want. Go to Bed Bath and Beyond. Or wait, no, no, don't go there. They're they're having having problems. Go to 
Bath and Body Works. That's it. That's those are the ones that people like. They're just very, very potent. But I just think that they're not so great because I, I mean, it's just a thing. Paraffin wax, when you burn it, it releases VOCs, which stands for toxic volatile compounds. How does that spell VOC? That doesn't make sense, but that's what it is. And it's like acetone, benzene, toluene, and that's why people with asthma or respiratory issues like can't be around scented candles. And then the scent itself, that definitely affects our hormones. So anyway, these are just things that I definitely don't choose to buy. And I really don't have a great option. You could diffuse essential oils. Some people are against that. I think it's a much better option, but heck, if I'm being honest, usually my home, doesn't really have much of a scent. <laughs> okay, this next one, I feel like I could win you back because I feel like we could all get on the same page with this with this next one. It's styrofoam and plastic because I mean, both options may be convenient, but they're really not healthy and they're not biodegradable. So that's 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 the thing that you, you use them and then you send them off to the landfill and then they're just there for the rest of time and it's just really bad. So I've been trying my darn hardest to be using and buying reusable bags or storage containers and things like that. So styrofoam, plastic, let's try to stop. I live by this next one, guys. This is a rule of thumb for Shea Whitney, okay? If I am asked, do you want an extended warranty on X, Y, or Z? The answer is no. No, I do not. It is a scam. And I know there's so many out there that disagree with this and that's fine. You do you. But if I ever buy anything, it could be as small as a, as a, as a, pair of pliers or as big as a car or a, a home exercise equipment machine, which I wouldn't buy anyway, but if I did and they asked me about a, a warranty, I would say no, because it's just, it's just a scam. I think that it's their way of just reeling in your extra money. The majority of the time, nothing ever goes wrong, but if it does, there's all the loopholes. So there's loopholes throughout it all. And then you end up having to pay for it all anyway. And then we have subscriptions. Now there's a few subscriptions in my life that I actually think are worth it. Netflix, Amazon Prime, my CBD. Like these are things I literally use on a daily basis. But the majority of the subscriptions, it's just it's just a scam to like get you to send them money on a monthly basis. I'm talking like the the razors. You don't need a dang razor every every week. Wine, I know some people love wine, so maybe that's worth it. But then then there's like the pet supplies. There's so many subscription-based brands where I feel like they're kind of scamming you into just sending them a, a, a monthly check. Now on the flip side, check out this video next where I share nine things I wish I would have bought sooner. So I'll see you over there.